Hi everyone, welcome back to the React.js tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about components. Components are the building block of any React app. Component is a JavaScript class or function that optionally accepts input that is properties and returns a React element that describes how a section of the UI uh, should appear. Okay. So now let's create a component inside the React project. So go to the project and inside the SRC folder, just create a new folder. Let's say folder name is components. And inside the components folder, create a new file. Uh, let's say file name is post.js. Okay. Post component. And inside the post component, just create a class. Uh, first of all, import the React and component. So just write here import React, comma in the curly bracket. Just write here component from React. All right. Now create a class, so just write here class, class name post, extend, extend with component and inside this class just add here the render method and inside the render method just return and simply turn a paragraph uh, uh, just to return here this is a component okay so just write here this is post component all right now save the file and in last just export the class so just write here export default and class name which is post all right now save the file and now import this component into app.js file so just go there inside the app.js file and here just import post class so post component so just write here import post from components slash post all right now just remove this this line and here just simply write post and close this okay now save the file and let's check so go to the browser and you can see here this is post component okay you can render javascript inside the component for that just write javascript javascript code inside the curly bracket so go to the component uh, post component and here i am just going to print current date and time so just write here inside the curly bracket new dot to uh, local string all right now save the file let's see the output in the browser so you can see here current date and time okay So in this way you can create a component in react so that's all about react component so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching